What do they hatch from that stuff down there? Mm hmm. Long fin albinos. New calico. Eggs. Short fin albino bristle nose. A bunch of babies. release them back into the tank today. So we have another batch of long fin albinos. Put them upstairs probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and they all hatched at the same time. This guy right here is a calico. I just pulled a clutch of eggs out today. Put them in a jar so they can hatch out. The last spawn that I had from these guys ended up getting me in it. I wanted to save the eggs this time. It's not a big batch, but been waiting for one of the females to get big enough to spawn. Uh, focus. These are the albinos from last month. They're like six weeks old. About an inch, inch and an eighth. Bunch of guppy babies in there swimming around. That's the blue neon. Papa guppy. There's the black beta fish I got from my buddy Dave. Looking nice, the blues are coming out on him. He's having a blast. And we got some black fin. I don't even call them half blacks because all that's black on them is the tail fin. 
some of them have a little bit of black up in the dorsal, but that's those guys. Then we come over here, and these are the half blacks. Still showing a little bit of Endler characteristics in the males. Nice display. All the females are half black. Oh, there's a cut. One. No, that's a male. Yep. camera it looked like it could have been a female but I look at it in the tank and it's definitely a male There's one of the last batches of the beta fish that my boy got. They're probably about an inch long now. Everybody says, oh, don't put beta fish in with other fish. The beta fish will kill them. I put a beta fish in by itself and he starts biting his tail. Looking like crap. I put him in with other fish and look how beautiful they are. They have more interaction with other fish, they're, they're more social. Are you talking to somebody? Short tails. These are the veil sword tails right, back in there. And a few babies out of them. Flatty fry. All crowding right here to the front. That's a 
of flax. Here's a couple more that my buddy Dave is working on. Threw a couple females in there. Just in case I do lose them, I still get some of the blood line out of them. Waiting for a couple females from him. So I can keep these going regular for him. Beta fish. This is the father of the last batch of betas down there I showed you. He's in with some platies, a couple tindlers. Here's some wagtail platies. All different sizes. These are Mickey Mouse platies I got on a raffle. Or no, it was a spin to win. Got these guys and the yellow shrimp. I think I paid like 10 bucks for the uh, spots on the wheel. Doing good. Looks like we might be having some babies from in here soon. Got this nice little pump belly on her. Over here to the super red tank. Super red bristlenose. Seen a male hanging out in the cave. I don't know if he's getting ready to spawn. Or he was just hiding in the dark. Got a little bit of algae growing on the inside of the glass. But I don't like taking that off because it helps the shrimp that I have in here throw up around on the glass. The puckos don't really munch on it. Oh, there he is right there going back into the cave. is in here. And here's some more albino bristle nose.
If anybody's interested in some of them, let me know. Calicos. Growing them out. Hopefully, get a couple more females. They spawned for me once. Wasn't prepared for the babies. I was getting ready to put them outside in a, a pond to get them to spawn for me. Coming to get them out of the tank and I see a whole bunch of babies. I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do now? I didn't have no uh, food started for them. You have to start like four days uh, before the eggs are ready to hatch that way they have something to eat and I didn't have any first bites on hand at the time and only one of them survived and that's this one right here and that's probably about two and a half inches long now Pond. I ended up putting uh, the 24 carat mountain minnows in there. The female guppies that are in here had babies. I ended up moving them over to another tank. Wait, that's these guys right here. like it and quick update this is the new rack coming the top row has a couple fish in that I brought in from outside using that for quarantine right now Twenty one, twenty long tanks. I have to get the lights hooked up, get the PVC pipe ran for air. Because right now I just have a hose with some drop downs into the sponge filters running off of a, a little air pump. But eventually this will have the linear piston air pump just like the other side of the fish room. Alright, see you guys next time. Subscribe and share. Thank you.